When most of us think of Labor Day, we think of a holiday that's become known for signaling the end of summer and the beginning of the school year. It includes barbecues, parades, and hopefully a day off work. But did you know that Labor Day's origins were actually sparked by violent protests and the need for better working conditions, including better workplace safety? Hi, I'm Rachel with Ally Safety, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about what Labor Day is and how it helped us to gain a safer workplace. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. In the years following the Civil War, America was a bustling industrial hub. Factories were sprouting up nationwide, transforming the landscape and the workforce. And with this came some huge challenges, including truly horrific working conditions. Workers, including children as young as five or six, were subjected to grueling 12-hour workdays, seven days a week, often in incredibly dangerous conditions. As you might expect, Americans began to protest. Workers banded together, striking and rallying for better and safer working conditions, higher pay, and shorter hours. This was exemplified by the Haymarket Affair of 1886, which was a rally near Haymarket Square in Chicago that started peacefully advocating for an eight-hour workday, but tragically ended after protests intensified to the point that a bomb was thrown at police who had arrived to break up the rally. At least five people died from the violence that day. The tensions continued to build until 1894 when the real turning point came the Pullman Strike. This was one of the largest and most violent labor conflicts in American history. The exact number of fatalities is difficult to determine, but it's generally agreed that about 30 workers were killed by the U.S. military and U.S. Marshals sent in to break up the strike. Many more workers were injured during the confrontations between the striking workers and law enforcement. The government's intervention and the manner in which the strike was suppressed sparked significant public debate and criticism about both labor rights, and the use or abuse of federal power. In the wake of the strike's violent end, the public outcry was getting pretty intense. So to quell the outrage, President Grover Cleveland signed a law designating the first Monday in September as a holiday for workers. This was intended as an olive branch and a gesture of recognition that was hoped to reduce tensions until more effective legislation for workplace protections could be put in place. In just six days, the legislation passed, making the first Monday in September a day to honor the contributions of workers. So this Labor Day, as you enjoy your barbecues and bid farewell to summer, remember the workers who fought for safer workplaces. Their struggle shaped the workplace safety standards we often take for granted today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy and safe Labor Day.